I keep telling you guys I'm going to do this video and I haven't done it. Here it is. <laughs> this is my what sold video for April, but we're not going to go through every sale. So grab a drink, work along as you listen to my sales. It could help you. Let's roll the intro. Jennifer here with a recap of April's sales. I am terrible at doing what sold videos and you've heard me if you're, if you're one of my, my you know regulars you know that I keep saying it's there's some of the most important videos you can watch because you can see what is selling for people so that might help you know what to pick up what to be looking for in the thrift. So um, I am just going to do a hopefully quick April recap. Um, I had 62 sales, which is good. I'm happy with that for the month of April. That's averaging two sales a day. There are people that sell way more than me. There are people that sell way less than me. I'm fine. I don't compare myself to anybody. I'm happy with 62 sales this month. All right, and that's what's important. Remember that about your own business, okay? All right. Um, so what I'm going to go over with you is um, the, the good money sales. Anything that sold for over $25. And that means that item was 20, that, per, that someone paid $25 or more for that item. Not counting shipping, not counting anything else, not counting ta their taxes. They paid at least $25 for that item. So I think that's important. And then I'm going to go over sales, um, anything that sold in less than 30 days of me listing it. Because that lets you know, hey, this could be a fast mover if I price it right. So, money sales. So all I want is just to get paid. I know I okay, anything that sold over $25. Um, I think I'm going to put it up here. This Bowden dress <laughs> sold for $32.50 on eBay. Um, and you will also find it in the Fast Sales. It was called the, I'm looking over at my laptop. I should have probably had it that way. The Enchanting Floral Empire Waist Midi Dress, size 10 petite. So it was a petite, but I feel like a regular person could have, person could have worn it also. It just wouldn't have been as long because it was it was a long dress but it was beautiful um okay next um big sale oh man y'all was happy to find this one this was a peter millar leather vest it was lamb leather i get sad every time i think about that but it was lamb leather sold for a hundred dollars i had it listed for 150 somebody came in and offered me a hundred and i i said yes um, I wasn't going to hold out and wait for more. Not with summer coming on. Move it. Move it, move it, move it. Okay. I paid $2.75 for that. And somebody was willing to give me $100 for it. Amen. Yes, every day. Okay. The next money sale were these SAS. I don't know if you just say the initials SAS or you say SAS. Roamers. These are comfort shoes. These are probably considered old lady shoes. Either way, they sold for $27. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, next money sale was this Oscar de la Renta uh, sport coat. It's like suit jacket. It was just the jacket. It didn't have pants that went with it. It sold for $39.50. Now, men's sport coats will sit. But if they are a good fabric, good name, um, if they're measured correctly and the measurements are put in there, they'll sell, okay? You just have to make sure that you have something that is quality. If you're curious about buying men's sport coats and things like that, because it's one of the most overlooked sections in the thrift, check out the Hustle Couple. Look at, I think they probably have a video, and if, if I can find it, Dan and Amy's um, video, the Hustle Couple's video about buying and measuring and listing sport coats. I'll link it down in my description. 
That's where I learned everything I know about sport coats, and I love selling them because you get numbers like that. You get numbers above 30. You, you know, you can get really good numbers on those. Okay, the next one, I'm going through my eBay ones. I think I'll just go through eBay and then Mercari and then Poshmark. Um, this Roback Polo. Guys, it's a polo shirt. It was missing a button right here, but it had an extra button on the tag. So I pulled that button off, sewed it on, sold that baby for $50. $50 for a used polo. Guys, used polo. Um, if you find it, R-H-O-B-A-C-K, grab it. You might even be safe to pay up to $10 for it because they consistently sell for $50 to $60 um, for one polo and they sell fast you'll you'll see that it's in the fast um the fast sales also all right next on ebay denim and supply camo shorts um this i don't think this brand is made anymore the camo shorts do better than any other style of denim and supply and they were camo cargo shorts 45.90 dollars 90 cents um next money one this mod cloth uh black dress it's a little black dress mod cloth i think was it as it was like a size 4x a 3x i think it was a 4x y'all let's see if i can get to it really quick because right now i'm going on the few notes that i made right here dun, dun. looking for it There it is. Mod cloth, LBD, little black dress, size 4X, Empire waist, sleeveless, surplus top. Um, it was just a black dress, but the fact that it was a 4X and the fact that it was mod cloth really did help. So that one sold for $30. Okay. Um, next one is J. Crew headband. <laughs> headband sold for over $25 yes when it is J crew and when it is made with the trademark Liberty fabric or Liberty print fabric okay so anytime you see J crew and Liberty grab it because it will sell and it will sell for good money people look for J crew with the Liberty fabric okay so that headband sold for $25 a head band y'all okay um next money maker kendra scott earrings i was so excited to get these um in one of my mystery boxes i'm trying to remember which one isn't that terrible that i can't remember which one i got it in but i did get them in a mystery box and they sold for 45 dollars i was tickled pink they sold on mercari for $45. Don't, don't bad mouth Mercari. Some of my most expensive sales have been on Mercari. I sold a pair of a Goldie jeans on there for 115. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with Mercari. Okay. Um, other money sales. That was my only money sale on Mercari though. So go ahead and bad mouth it now if you want. <laughs> all right last money sales are all on poshmark frame denim skirt had rivets all over it or like like metal thingies i don't know <laughs> doing a really good job explaining that one aren't i um let me see if i can get to it and i'll tell you exactly how i titled it i was worried because i started seeing other resellers go oh frame doesn't sell frame skirts are horrible um, and I was like, oh, dang, I shouldn't have picked this up. But I remember finding it and being so excited that I found frame because I had never found frame before. Um, it was, I put frame, denim, Anstey, A-N-S-T-E-E. -E, that was the style name. Anstey Lumini studded denim skirt. And it was a size 29 or which like a size 8. And it sold right at $25. Okay, um, this pair of soft wedges, they were called the Chloe. 
and let's see, soft Chloe wedge sandals, tan, size 7M, suede leather tote. So I just, you know, stuff all those words in the title. Anyway, they sold for right at 20, 25. Um, a pair of Ms. Moo's sandals. I remember finding those. They're called the Miss Moo's Shanley Sandals. Mint green leather, 40 gladiator strappy, nine to nine and a half. That was everything that I put in there. Um, they sold for 27. And then I had a pair of Franco Sarto. You know, it wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be a thing if I didn't sell some Franco Sarto. I know those aren't it. There they are. They are the Franco Sarto Haley strappy leather sandal size eight strappy that's strappy in there twice strappy black heel black block heel strappy block heel black okay all the keywords in there y'all they sold for 30 and a pair of dansko sandals that also sold for 30 dollars so that was out of my 62 sales that was 14 of them that sold for over $25. So you see that most of my money is made on things under $25. Fine with that. This is a hobby for me. This is fun. This is not my full-time business. Would I like for it to be? Sure. Then I might be going for a little bit more than that. But as a hobby, this has been a fun way to make extra money. My cats are being crazy right now. Um, and I'm outside, if you couldn't tell. I figured you guys might like seeing the sunset behind me. All right, let's look at 21 sales that of items that sold in under 30 days of me listing them. Now, if, if it's already been shown to you in the money portion, um, I will just mention it, but I'm not going to pop up another picture, okay? Or maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll just throw you up a list really quick. All right, so 20 um 21 items that sold in under 30 days let's do the list of the ones that i've already done in the money portion the boat and dress the peter millar leather vest the sass roamers um those sass shoes the roback shirt the denim and supply camo shorts the mod cloth black dress the j crew headband the kendra scott earrings the Franco Sarto sandals and the Dansko sandals. All those things sold in less than 30 days for over $25. So make note, be like, those might be things that I need to look for in the thrift. Now, other things that sold quickly. Um, let me see if I can, I wanna get to it so I can kind of give you an idea and how many days it actually sold because I think that helps a lot too. All right. Not seeing it here. Is it on this page? Um, okay. First uh, thing that you didn't see that sold fast was this silver concho belt. Um, it sold for $19 and it sold in one day. So I might've had it priced around 25, and maybe I got, a, got an offer for 19. And if I can sell something in a day like that, I will absolutely do it. I paid $2 for that belt. So if I can take $2 and turn it into 19 in one day, happy as a clam, okay? All right, the next fast seller was a Monet bracelet. Let me see if I can get to, okay. It was a Monet two-strand faux pearl bracelet. Um, it was like a pale pink color, had a fold-over class. It was very dainty, elegant. It sold for $10.50, not a lot, not a lot, but that's okay. It sold in less than a month. All right, so I'm happy with that. I think it sold in approximately um, 26 plus, Four. So four days. It sold in about 18 days. I don't know who's hollering back here, but it's crazy. So it sold in about 18 days. Happy with that. All right. 
Um, things that sell fast for me don't sell for a lot of money. Lilo and Stitch scrub top. So I will, a lot of times I find them at yard sales and I, I price them right. I don't price them high. Their scrub tops and nurses, nurses, you know, they could use a break. Um, anyway, this was a Lilo and Stitch scrub top. It was a size 3X. I needed to, one of the pockets had a, had a little tear on the edge. It looked like that nurse, whoever wore it, probably kept hitting a drawer or something and tore it a little bit and I sewed it. I disclosed that. I took a picture of my sewing, lack thereof skills, and, and said what I did. And that Lilo and Stitch scrub top, I had it listed for 17. I took an offer of $12 and it sold in eight days. So happy with that. Eight days. Um, a lot of two scrub tops, they were bought at all at the same yard sale, $2, all right? So this lot of two scrub tops sold for 15. Scrub tops don't sell for a lot. I had them priced at 20, so $10 a piece. Somebody came and offered me 15 for it and I took it. Um, and they also had the same pocket with the same thing. So I told, like I said, I think she just kept hitting something to where it would tear that pocket a little bit. Anyway, again, I listed them on April 3rd. I got the offer on April 10th. I will take that every single time. Boom, boom. You in, you out. I'm not your storage facility. I like that. Okay. Um, next was a pair of Clark's Mules. Um, you know, like slip-on, almost like clog type shoes. They were a size 10. Clark's Women's Leather Mule Clogs, size 10 M, brown, low heel, flat button detail. Um, they, I listed them on March 15th. They sold on April 8th. So, a couple weeks, a few weeks, but, um, yeah, probably about three weeks, but, yeah, happy with that. They sold for 15 Um, a hat, I, I got a vintage hat. I can't even pronounce the name of it. The Miss Bernay, Berner, Berner. Um, it was like a little flapper hat with a big pheasant thing across the top. It was a wool hat that I got at the bin, so it cost me 50 cents, maybe. Um... It sold for $21. I had it listed for $24.90. Somebody offered me $21. I listed it on March 26th. It sold on April the 4th. Week, maybe. So, I knew it would sell. It was just funky enough, okay? Um. All right. Hold on, let me set this down. So, that was the hat. Let's see, another another fast one. Um, a Style & Co suit. That was free to me, um, and it sold, let me see if it's down here. Where are you, Styling Co? Anyway, it's somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's a two-piece suit, pants and a blazer, size 18, black, blue, pinstripes, career. Anyway, it sold for right at $20. I listed it on April 3rd. And it sold on April 6th in three days. Career wear, I do decent with it. Not fantastic, but decent. Okay? And like I said, that was free to me. So, happy with that. Then we have a Fashion Nova swim top. It was a long sleeve swim top. So, almost like a rash guard swimsuit type thing. Um, It sold on Mercari. I had it listed at... 22 somebody came in and offered me 20 and I grabbed that I listed it on April 3rd it sold on April 13th so in 10 days um there was let me go to the next page it was another chain belt so you saw that the concho belt was a chain belt I had another chain belt that looked like oval links um silver tone metal oval hoop chain belt boho style body waist 32 inches to 36 inches that was the whole title um it, i had it listed for 14.90 and i forget what it sold for but i listed it on april 21st it sold on april 27th six days okay again i love those flips i love the fast flips um and then what else we got cabbie top I, um, I got, I don't remember where I got it, but I did get a cabbie top, and this is, this, this was awesome. 
first time this has happened to me, one of my YouTube viewers saw me do a haul and saw the top in the haul and messaged me and said, I want to buy that cabbie top. So I said, I'll let you know when it's listed. And I did, and she went right in and bought it. Um, I was tickled pink. She paid my full price too. I would have, I would have haggled or not haggled, but I would have given her a deal. Um, but I knew she was going to buy it. So I didn't price it with wiggle room. I priced it, you know, a little bit like right in the comps instead of a little bit higher so that I could negotiate. Um, and she, yeah, she paid $22 and thank you so much to that viewer. I'm not going to throw names out there only because I believe in respecting people's privacy when it comes to that. She may not want everybody to know that she bought something from me, but I hope you're loving it. I really do. Thank you so much. Um, so yes, she, and she, yeah, I was getting ready to say where she lived, but I'm not going to do that either. Like not her whole address, but you know, anyway, okay, moving on. The last fast flip was the snuggle bear. So this guy, I was so excited. He moved to Hawaii. My snuggle bear moved to Hawaii. Let me get back to him so I can tell y'all how fast he sold. Um, that was the big bear that was from the snuggle commercials. He sold on Etsy. I don't get a lot of sales on Etsy, but when I do, it's usually a pretty good one. I listed him on March 19th. And he sold on April 3rd, so a couple weeks. It took a couple weeks and he sold. He was a 24 inch bear from 1986. And he's so cute. And I was so excited that he went to go live in Hawaii. So that's it. That's that's um that's all on the sales as far as money makers and fast flips. So let's take a look at my numbers. My total profit for the month of April, after you take out shipping, after you take out platform fees and all that, was $865.27. It's probably gonna look different when I pop up the graph and the numbers because, because I had a whatnot sale where I made some more money. So it's probably should be around the 900s. My goal this year has been to try each month. I'm comparing month to month. So I compared January 22 to January 23, February 22 to February 23. You, you feel me? Okay. My goal <clears throat> has been to double. That was to double what I did last year, this time last year. For the whole year so far, I have been doing between 2.4 times more to two and a half times more. This month I didn't. I did like, I think, I'm gonna have to re-look at the numbers. I think once I look at the numbers, it will be, it's a little over two times more. Um, when I add in the, the whatnot numbers. Um, so yeah, is it the two and a half times more? No, I was feeling some slow days and some slow sales and I think everybody was and that's okay. The point is, is I'm watching my graph. It's climbing. It's a slow climb, but it's climbing. I'm doing better than I did last year. So I'm improving in my business and I think that's the best thing that we can look at is the fact that are you getting better each time? Are you making better business decisions? Are you sourcing better? Are you sourcing smarter? And that's why I like doing these videos and I like for you guys to watch these videos. So, um, so I think that it helps all of us all the way around. So, <clears throat> if you ever have any questions, let me know. And if you got this far and you watched my whole video, because I know these aren't the most exciting videos, leave me a comment in the chat. Let me think, what do I want? Um, I'm looking at my bird feeder. Do you put out bird feeders? My cats love to watch the birds. I love to watch the birds. And we have cardinals around here and I think cardinals are the prettiest birds ever. Um, but anyway, 
do you put out bird feeders and do you like watching the birds come to your bird feeder? How random of a question is that? Let me know in the chat if you made it this far. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I'm trying to grow my um, subscriber numbers. I'm at like 511 right now. I would love to get it to 1,000 by December. If you like this type of video, if you learn something from this type of video, would you please give it a thumbs up? I realize they're not like, whoa, exciting, and it's not getting to see fun things, and it's not like Christmas. But if you learn something from this, if you gain some sort of knowledge, give it a thumbs up, because that tells me thanks for the knowledge, okay? All right, and until the next video, I'm going to say a tout See you later.